everyone and welcome back to The Breakdown. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to record Fortnite with a face cam and just how to record Fortnite in general. This is going to be using OBS here and this is a 100% free program so you don't have to worry about you know buying your program or buying your recording software. You will obviously need a webcam if you want to do that and a microphone. I have links to those in the description down below. For example, this is the webcam I would recommend, Logitech C922X. It's the predecessor to the webcam I'm using right now and this one's pretty great so the newer one is even better and uh, yeah. There you go. That's what I would recommend. But this, as well as some more webcams and mics, are listed in the description down below. And those are Amazon affiliate links. If you go to those links, we get a little cut of it at no additional cost to you. So thank you so much for that. But nevertheless, let's go ahead and get OBS installed here. Just like everything else I talk about in this video, it is linked in the description down below. And once you're here, you can download on Windows because I'm going to be doing this on Windows. Now, you may have to click Save File if you're on Firefox. If you're on Google Chrome, it might automatically download. Or you may have to keep the file in the bottom left. It is 100% safe. Once the file is downloaded. We can see the download progress up here, and there we go. The download is now complete right now. There we go, and we will have this on our desktop. This is the OBS installer. If this isn't on your desktop, click on the Windows button in the top left for me. It's in the bottom left of your screen. Get on there, click that, and then type in downloads right like so. You will be able to find the OBS installer in your downloads folder here. You can drag it to your desktop just for ease of use. Once it's on your desktop, go ahead and double click on OBS, and this installs just like any other program. Click next. Next, click I agree, click next, click install, and you're done. It is that simple. And then once it's done, you will see this. It'll finish up its installation bar, and you'll have Launch OBS Studio. Make sure that's click and click finish. OBS should then go ahead and open up. If it doesn't, you do have this handy desktop shortcut that you can double click on. That uh, OBS file we downloaded, that installer file that looks like this, go ahead and just drag that to your recycling bin. You, you don't need that anymore. But once OBS is open here, you'll have something that looks like this. The only difference is when you log in, you actually will have this right here up. This is the auto configuration wizard. You want to go ahead and leave that up, but if you accidentally close out of it, just click on tools right here and click on auto configuration wizard. Once it's open, you want to optimize for just recording. You will not be streaming. Then go ahead and click next. Once you're here, you want to decide what resolution you want to output at. I would recommend 1080p because 1080p is just a good mix of being able to actually record without killing your hardware and with keeping some quality. So go ahead and click that. Either 60 FPS or 30, but prefer 60 when possible. That's what I would go with there. Then go ahead and click next. And overall, this should all be good and left the same. You can see it all here. That looks all good to me. If it's have your hardware encoder might be H.264. And if that's the case, you don't have an NVIDIA graphics card. No worries there. It's going to use your processor. But for me, OBS will use my graphics card. But nevertheless, let's go ahead and click apply there. And then it will go ahead and take us to something that looks like this. Only difference is you won't have a video capture or a game capture here. You'll just have like this empty scene that doesn't have absolutely anything in it, right? Like this. Once we're here, we need to go ahead and open up Fortnite. So let me go ahead and just jump cut to Fortnite and it'll be open and I'll show you what you need to do in Fortnite to configure it correctly for recording. So here we are on the Fortnite Battle Royale main menu. So what we want to do is come up here to the top right where we have the three arrows or three lines rather and we want to click on the settings tab right here. Once we're in the settings tab, you have a few options. Now, I personally, when I record, like to play in windowed mode here, right? So if we click on over, we're in windowed full screen. We don't want that. We want windowed mode. Now you can do windowed full screen if you have like a 1080p monitor. However, I have a 4K monitor, so I'm going to go ahead and make sure we do windowed. When we go ahead and click apply here, it will window down Fortnite. Now you might need to turn down your settings when you're recording. I don't have any issues with that. I have a very good PC for recording, so I don't have to worry about changing any of these. I can leave everything as epic, but you can change the rest of this however you see fit. For example, you can even change your FPS down to 30 or something like that, but I would recommend just leaving it on 60 while you are recording. Nevertheless, let's go ahead and apply these settings and you'll see what I mean. It'll go ahead, turn the screen black, and then now Fortnite is in this windowed mode in 1080p. For example, if I switch over to my game recording setup in XSplit, you'll be able to see that Fortnite is in fact full screen 1080p. There we go, right? So this is now full screen. You're just seeing Fortnite. You're not seeing everything else. Whereas if we go back to tutorials here, you'll be able to see that Fortnite is in fact 
just this small little parts of my overall screen. Now, if you have a, don't have a 4K monitor, it is going to take up your full screen when you're in 1080p windowed mode, but you're still going to be able to easily access OBS in the background, and that's what we need to do. Now, it's time to go ahead and get everything set up as far as capturing Fortnite with OBS. So to do this, we're going to come over here to Sources. We're going to click the plus button here, and then we're going to come down to where it says Game Capture. You see that? Click on Game Capture there, and you can tell this whatever you want. We'll just call it Fortnite because, well, it's Fortnite. And then click OK. Then it'll open this up. And do we want to capture any full screen application? No, because Fortnite is not full screen. We're running it in window mode. So we want to go ahead and capture specific window. And then the window we want to capture is, of course, Fortnite right there. See that? Click on that. And then click OK. And then Fortnite will appear in the background. Because we have it running at 1080p, it immediately made itself exactly what we had, right? We said we wanted to record at 1080p back at the beginning when we were setting up recording. And because of that, this is a 1080p window and Fortnite fit perfectly into it. Now, if you did need to scale it up, let's say you were running it full screen you could do so scale it up to there or let's say you're running this full screen on a 4k monitor like mine is you would have to be able to scale it down and again you can just click on the arrows and scale it down move it around however you want but for me it is uh, a lot easier just to leave it all 1080p and this is what i recommend doing it for you that way the stream or the recording is seeing exactly what you're seeing all the time but there we go we've got fortnite added. and at this point you can go ahead click on settings here set up your audio by clicking on the little audio button here making sure you can leave everything the same but you want to come to your default audio device and change that to whatever microphone you want but other than that you can go ahead and click start recording if you don't want a face cam but if you want a face cam let me do a quick jump cut that way i can give obs my face cam because right now xsplit has it and then i'll be able to show you how to add a face cam to your obs recording and after that jump cut my face cam is no longer in the bottom right and that's because it is now captured by obs so we can go ahead and add it to fortnite here to do that click on the little plus button under our sources see that right there Go ahead and make OBS bigger for you. But you see that little plus button right there? Click on that, and then you want to click on Video Capture Device. And then you can title this whatever you want. Obviously, I'm going to title it Face Cam, right like so. Click OK, and then it says that name already exists. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. We'll just do, I guess, Cam. I don't know. Go ahead and click on that. And then we'll be able to select the Logitech C920. Now, it's not going to allow me to select that because if I click OK, it's not going to show up. And that is because I have it added over here. Hello. So what we're going to do is come back over to OBS here and delete the one we created. And we're going to add a new video capture device. And this is helpful if you want to add it to another scene. You can add existing. Click on that. And hey, how are you doing? Now, this is not the correct resolution. This should be 1080p. It is currently 4x3. Why is that? Well, we can go ahead and click on it right here. Click on this little settings wheel once it's blue and selected like that. And it will open up the settings for our webcam. And in here, we'll be able to kind of do some configuration. As you can see, the resolution is set to custom. I want to change that to device default. And it did disappear in the background, but that's okay. It's supposed to do that. Once we've done that, we can click OK. And now it'll reappear. Here after a second, we may have to make it disappear and then reappear. It doesn't seem like it's going to work. I'd say what's happened is that XSplit has actually grabbed the webcam, which can be kind of annoying. It has. XSplit's now grabbed my webcam in that little bitty jump cut there. But nevertheless, that is how you can do that. You can change your resolution doing that. And um, I, I appear in the bottom. I'm back now. But yeah, that's the thing. That's kind of annoying about running two recording programs, which I have to do to be able to show you how to record Fortnite. But basically, that is how you can add a webcam just add as a video capture device. But nevertheless, if you click start recording, it will then begin recording. I'll be like, where are these recordings going? Well, if we click on settings here, we can go to output and then we'll be able to see that they are in fact going right here recording pad this windows folder and then videos for me you can click browse there to be able to do that but to be able to do that you have to not be recording so let's go ahead and do some stuff on screen real quick that way you'll be able to see some stuff happening in the actual recording we click on custom everything changes there we go and now we can go ahead and click on stop recording we can go into settings here click on output click on browse right here next to videos it'll open up the folder here and we will be able to in fact see the videos we recorded i'm sorry no we won't be able to i'm gonna have to go to videos here real quick click on that go to videos and here is the video we recorded we can click on it watch it back all of that stuff and you'll be able to see right here we are clicking around the recording did in fact work if you have any questions let me know in the comment section down below that is how you can set up and record fortnite for free with a face cam my name is nick this has been the breakdown give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more awesome content and i'm at everyone peace